guys. Mmm. Yeah, wow, so sweet. Guys, I can recommend you if you come to Mombasa, Kenya, just uh, ask for this wine, coconut wine. It's very, very delicious, very, very sweet. It has a very, very sweet taste. It has a little bit of sourness, bitterness in it, mixed with some sugar. <laughs> this is so crazy. So, hello, 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 guys. How are you doing? This is Samoses the Great, aka the village boy himself. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, just show love, subscribe to the channel, share uh, my videos, share to, to people who uh, who like village life, village videos, so that we can help each other. And if you do that, everything will be good. Kila kitu kitakuwa poa sana kama kawaida. So, uh, today, today's video is going to be more of informative because we are going to learn step by step how... Uh, coconut wine is made here in the village Mombasa, Kenya. So, so that is how he sharpens the knife with just some soil. That is how he sharpens the knife. And from there, the knife becomes super, super clean. And then after that, he takes that piece of a log just to wind up. Just to wind up. So that is it. Can see we even have a style of doing it you can see look at it <laughs> super super clean so after here now you can take uh, this one you can use this one to cut uh, the coconut to produce a, a, a very very sweet uh, wine so this is a very very clean knife and it's a very very special one for that work only you can see so you don't just sharpen it there is a special way how you can sharpen this knife it can look good yeah. like this uh, just tell me what night on you don't Kombe Gari Kamacha. So Kombe is one uh, is one man who is going to take us along the way. He's going to show us every step on how a coconut wine is made, is harvested, till mixing and he's going to allow us to test the wine and we'll be enjoying together. So Kombe is about to start. So you can start. You can Nice, uh, Panda. So, as I've told you guys, coconut wine is up there. You can see. So he's climbing to the top so that we can get he can get the wine. And there is some steps that I, we need to know. So, guys. I don't have a drone, so I'll have to climb to the top too, so that we can see everything he's doing. So guys, let's do that. So guys, we are climbing. I don't have anybody to uh, hold me the camera, so I'm going to try if I can manage to climb with one hand. It's so, so... To climb with the one hand and it's a bit long it's a bit tall uh. so guys oh. <laughs> you know 
today it has been raining since in the morning uh, so this coconut is slippery that's why I could not uh, be able to 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 film while climbing this uh, this coconut tree but final guys I've managed to climb to the top you can see I'm um, at the top this is uh, Mr. Kombe who is going to show us step by step how it is I just want to show you the ground you can see that is the ground uh, those are the people you can see you can you can feel even my hand is just well, down is very very far guys I don't want to come to the top then this is how it is this one is just to cover this container so that flies and bees don't enter inside uh, to dirty and drink the wine so just take us step by step how it is done okay show us so now he's opening and this the, this is the amount he has gotten for today uh, this is just a small amount but he usually uh, do this in several coconut plant he has several coconuts where he goes to harvest so he just mix this one and other uh, wine from other coconuts and he gets more than 20 liters a day this is so crazy just so show us then after happen then he takes the wine then put in a container like this take the wine put in a container like this then step uh, this one is a very important step because if you take the wine and you don't do something like this one you will get a very little wine because we, because this these are the there is some holes here which uh, it's like it's act like veins it's like the, like veins so the holes bring the wine from under from the soil from the roots so you have to to cut afresh this holes it's like the wounds if you have a wound guys if you have a wound and you you cut the wound again so the blood will will start to uh, to flow afresh so it's like this science here this guy every day needs to cut uh, this mother coconut so that the wound can be afresh so that some water or some wine can come out afresh so guys this is how it is made to cover it appropriately let's be together guys So, by the hapo tunafanya nini? By the hapo tunafanya nini? So, after he does that, it's time now uh, to go down. So, guys, I hope you've learned uh, this process. I hope you've learned this process. Just tell me in the comment section below how it is done in your village and how you find it this one is it hard is it something that uh, it can be done 
and is it tiresome? What is your experience in this one? Because to me, it's just hard because I'm not used to it. But to Mr. Kombe here, it is very, very normal because he has this coconut plant. Now he has this uh, tree and he can climb several trees a day. So, and it's morning and evening, uh, morning, lunchtime and evening. He climb this coconut, maybe uh, it's like 20 coconut trees, then you climb them three times a day. It's very, very hard, but he's, uh, he, he can manage to do that and it's okay, to him it's okay. So just tell us in the comment section below, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's time now, we are going down so that we can know, we can see how he mixes the coconut wine and we'll test it to find out is it sweet is it sour is it i want to know the taste of the wine so let's be together guys uh, so to so So guys look at me <laughs> I'm so so that but thank God I've managed to calm down uh, the tree this is so so hard uh, just tell me in your village how it is done how are the people how are people saying those people who do this kind of work uh, to me it's very very hard and it need some experience with all that you can fall from that uh, from the top the ground and then you become nobody people just forget about you so guys let's continue uh, doing our work because uh, there is uh, two more steps he has uh, to mix he has to mix the wine uh, for us so that we can see how it is done uh, so guys let's be together as we see how he mixes the wine for us Okay, so hebu changanya tuone vile na changanya. So guys, this is how uh, it is done. You just come down and mix this wine. And he's telling me that this is the best wine uh, they have ever had. So he mixes. He mixes this one. This one is a uh, fresh. Then he mixes this one with the yesterday uh, yesterday evening so that it can become the super sweet uh, coconut wine. Uh, this is the color. This is how it looks. Yeah. Just wanna show you the color. How it looks. Even the smell, it's mwah already. Even the smell is good. Uh, this means this wine is so sweet. I just wanna try. I will buy that one. In Tanunua here. So I just wanna give me one so that I can try. So guys, he give you he's giving me oh uh, so that I can try. I just wanna try it because I've just heard stories that this wine is so so sweet, but I've ever I've never ever tried uh, even a single drop. But today I'll just try because of you and I will tell you how it tastes is it good is it something that is disgusting I will tell you today let's be together so he's washing uh, 
this one we call it a goblet this one so we'll just pour the wine here and i will use this one i will use this one as a sieve because this one is fresh it has so many uh, particles from the coconut itself from the cuttings of the coconut and maybe some a bit of bees those bees that manage to uh, to uh, get into the wine container so I will, i'm going to say with this uh this thing okay just put it for me Mm -hmm. So let me try. Mm -hmm. So guys, so guys, I'm going to try. I am trying this one. I will tell you how it feels. Mm -hmm. Ah, guys. Mm. Yeah, so sweet guys I can recommend you if you come to Mombasa Kenya just uh, ask for this wine coconut wine it's very very delicious very very sweet it has a very very sweet taste it has a little bit of sourness bitterness in it mixed with some sugar <laughs> this whenever is you so come crazy. to Mombasa Kenya ask for coconut wine and you will thank me later because this is a best wine it's natural no chemical just right from god and you have it and if you finish this one that bottle you become high already you start to talk in english even if you you, you cannot even if you can't speak in english if you get this one you can speak a lot of english people just will just wonder people will just uh they just they will not understand you because you'll be somewhere there on air so guys i've told you this is a best wine ever and i'm going to take this whole bottle today i'll have uh to celebrate uh with this whole bottle so maybe utwambie huku utwambie sasa nika ni mombasa then una unafika kaoleni sio hebu tuelezee kidogo jina tu alafu tuambie hii kwa tunaitwaje so he's telling me that this is Kaloleni, the outskirts of Mombasa. So if you reach Mombasa, you ask a place called Kaloleni. Here you can find this uh, coconut wine, very very cheap. It's natural, no chemical. People just love this coconut wine. So guys, so kwa hiyo baada hapa sasa ukimix kama hivyo mtu anakuja anachukua hapa. So, guys, after he mixes like this, just uh, people just come uh, to him to buy this uh, wine, and he usually produce a 20 jerrycan a day. This is uh, a very, a, a very good work, and he's just used the money to survive, uh, to make sure he has something to put in his stomach. He has uh, a son who is going to school. And this is the work he's doing to manage uh, those expenses. So guys, put a like for this video. Let's support each other. And if you do that, everything will be good. Kila kitu kita kwa poa sana. Kama kawa ida. Sawa. Ni 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 s